So here I'm showing you a typical wall flashing detail here. And what I mean by that is we're taking the roof system up the wall. The reason why we take it so far up the wall is that if you were ever to ever get a sewer back up where the water cannot go down the drains, you want your up walls and all details very high because if the water level raises up if you have a low detail the water can then fall in behind it but if you have a high detail far up the wall then the water cannot fall in behind and get inside the building in case a sewer does back up and you don't have drains from your regular drains you don't have any drainage so we take the take the the field goes up to the 90 degree angle then we take two more plies of the flashing detail which is either modified bitumen or the polyester itself down with hot asphalt down onto the roof system then we flood coat that at the end to make it all seamless and then we take a cold mastic put it around the top for some very good water tightness and then we put it around all corners and then down seams too and then when the metal flashing gets put on it also gets caulked so you have a double seal actually it's a triple seal because you have caulking on the flashing cold caulking on the top of the material then the material is actually hot asphalt right to the bricks so you have a very good water seal so water cannot fall into the flashing details so let's take a look at edges so here is a typical edge on a roof, what is called a zacanted edge. And all that means is it goes up and over. Other types of edges are, uh, you can also get a parapet wall edge, which is a small wall where you take the material up the wall and then a secondary material goes up and over before you put the metal on. But this is your regular canted edge on a building. And what we do is we take two plies of material in the field area and then two plies of our edge detail material, which is either modified bitumen or our polyester reinforcement, up and over the edge. And the reason why we go over the edge, some companies do not go over the edge. We've found over the years that if you ever get a sewer back up where the drains cannot drain and the, the actual roof system fills up with water, if you don't put it over the edge, the roof system can fill up with water. If you stop your edge here, the water can get in behind it. What we do is we take it up and over the edge, and then we roofing nail the edges down, and then we put the metal on. So if you ever do get a water sewer back up, it can fill up and it falls on the outside of the building and it cannot get to the inside of the building by doing your edge details this way. So this is what the roof looks like after the top layer of the polyester has been flood coated. As you can see, it's a one piece seamless hot asphalt roof system. All the way from here to the end, there are no detectable seams in our membrane because the flood coat encapsulates the top layer of the polyester, absorbs into the polyester, and then the seams disappear. So. This is what it looks like after we're done the install of the reinforcement plies and we're just about to gravel the roof system. So here we have the graveling crew down on the ground loading up the concrete dispenser buckets. They can dispense gravel too. It's the middle of the winter time so we have one man heating the gravel because the gravel has been delivered for a few days. It's pretty much frozen solid. So they use a propane torch. He heats the gravel that the ramrod driver then drives into the gravel, lifts the gravel up, puts it into these gravel dispensers, which are actually just concrete dispensing buckets. And then the crane, our crane takes it up onto the roof. And I'll take you up on the roof now and I'll show you how we dispense the gravel into the wheelbarrows. So this is how we empty the gravel up on the roof. The concrete bucket filled with gravel gets sent up onto the roof. They then pull that handle and that releases the gravel into the wheelbarrow. So each concrete bucket does three or four wheelbarrow fulls. And as you can see, just pulls the handle, the gravel comes out, they fill the wheelbarrow, they take the wheelbarrow of gravel over to the person that's spreading the gravel out, and they spread the gravel out onto the roof system. So it's a pretty simple procedure. We bring the wheelbarrows over from the concrete bucket to the gravel spreaders. They dump the wheelbarrows out into piles, and then the spreader he pushes it around the roof to make a uniform layer of gravel, which makes an excellent sunscreen. So let's take a look at the roof after it has the gravel sunscreen applied. So here you can see the gravel has been installed onto the roof system now. This is your traditional 
gra pea gravel that's been installed onto hot asphalt roof systems for over 150 years now. But we do have two other sunscreen options that are better than pea gravel. We have Durox Teal Coat White Elastomeric Roof Coating that gets painted onto the roof surface. It's extremely bright white and it has a high reflectivity rate. And we also have our bright white marble option. We get the marble mined for us out of the Marmara mine and it's cut and shaved to size for our tough roof applications. And we install it just like we do pea gravel, pour it over the roof system. So those two other options with the bright white marble, it has a very high reflectivity too. So if you're looking for a higher reflectivity than traditional gravel, we have the two other options for sunscreens. And then if you go with a, say a TO coat, you can also get government rebates back for reflectivity in the Toronto and Ontario area. So this is the traditional sunscreen. So let's go take a look at the, the guys installing the actual edge flashings now. So here we have one of our metal mechanics installing the metal interlocking metal edging around the edges of this apartment building. They also put the metal on the walls or vent boxes or anywhere we have a vertical upstand that we need to put a cosmetic metal flashing on. Now, what happens with the roofing is that the roofers come in and they paint a picture with doing the roof. These guys come in and they frame the picture. The metal work is all cosmetic. It's never to be relied on <clears throat> as a waterproofer. It just gets put around the edges to make the edges look nice. Because if you were just leave the roof over the edge, it doesn't look very nice. But we employ the most highly experienced metal mechanics. So when we get our metal installed at the very end of the job, it's a very professional looking installation. So we put a lot of hard work into our roofs. We don't want to put on metal at the very end that doesn't look nice. And I'm customer is not happy in the end. So we employ the most highly experienced metal mechanics to come in and put our metal on to make the metal at the very end to make the entire project look perfect when we're finished. So we've come to the end of the video on how we install our seamless hot asphalt tough roof flat roof system onto apartment buildings with concrete decks. I'd like to thank you for taking your time to watch this video and if you would ever like an estimate on your apartment building or anywhere you have a flat roof, please give us a call. We'd love to come out and quote your project.